Okay, so you are all done with your stop motion animation. Now you need to screen record it and you need to edit that recording so you can save it as a simple, short, looping, animated GIF. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your extensions, which is in your upper right hand corner. It looks like a little puzzle piece. And you are going to find the Wii Video Screen and Webcam Recorder. Now, when I click on it, this thing opens up here. But the first time you're here, it's going to look kind of like this. So the first time you click on it, you'll have to log in with an existing account. You will have to select your Google account, select your name, give it permission, hit continue, blah, blah, go through all those steps until you get to this screen that says continue to Wii Video Recorders. Click that button. It'll let you know you're good to go so you can start recording. It will probably ask you for permission to use your webcam, to use your microphone. Click yes, 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 allow all those things. Once you get to this screen, you can now close this. Now, that's just the first time you use the extension, you have to go through that setup. Once you're set up, from now moving forward, this is actually really easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your puzzle piece, you're gonna click on that Wii video screen and webcam recorder, then you show up, hey. Um, we're actually going to click on screen because you're not actually gonna use your webcam recorder. You're just recording your screen. You're going to record your whole screen and then we're going to crop out the parts we don't need. So go ahead and click record, tell it entire screen, and then click on your screen. Now you'll probably only have one. I'm on a dual monitor here, so just select the one and hit share. And then what's gonna happen is you'll get this little countdown and you wanna make sure that you're on slide number one because you're going to click through your slides to animate your project. Now I'm clicking this one at a time, like click, 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 click for mine. You could choose to press and hold your arrow. Now we're see this in reverse. Um, Sometimes that goes a little bit too fast. So it depends on your project. If you press and hold, does it just like whoop, go too fast and do we need to slow it down a little bit? That's up to you, you can adjust. Now, when you're all finished, you're gonna go ahead and hit stop. And if you don't like it, you can delete it and try again. If you have successfully recorded your video, and I've had cases where this glitches and it doesn't record the first time and I have to try a second time. That's okay, but, you know, make it work. You'll know that it works because when you stop your recording at the end, you will get a screen that looks like this. This little Wii video preview of your screen recording. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on the Open in Wii Video app um, little button here, edit your recording, open in Wii Video app. And you're going to need to wait a second for it to load up into Wii Video. But what's going to happen is... You're gonna log into a video. It's going to create a project for you. It's already gonna be in the timeline. All you have to do now is just edit the clip that's already there. So see, here's my project. It's already down in my timeline. Now we are going to save this as a GIF and a GIF doesn't have sound, but sometimes it's easier to edit if you turn your sound off anyways. So I'm gonna take this slider for the audio and I'm just gonna turn it down because otherwise you'll be able to hear me talking over this even though it won't save in the final product. So you want to click on your clip and you want to go to the edit function. The icon is a little pencil. And when I click on it, I now have options, things I can do to edit my video. I want to use the crop button and I want to move to the left and to the right to crop the sides. And I want to crop from the top and I want to crop from the bottom so that only my project is in like the viewfinder there. So once I've done that, I'm actually going to click over to the transform button because watch this. There you see what you want to see, but there's a lot of black space around it. So I am going to click the button that says fit. And what that does is it's going to make this nice and big and make it fit my screen and be as big as it can be. So now I can hit done. And technically at this point, you're ready to finish and save it. What I usually do is go back and play it to see if there's, you know, a little bit at the beginning there. Like I probably a whole couple of seconds I could take 
and split and trim that. And then usually there's a little bit at the end too that I could go in. Because I know this is my last slide here. And then see there's like several seconds of it just being gray. So what I might do is go back. I'm just moving the blue. This is called the playhead, this blue line. And I'm going to split here. And I'm going to delete that extra. So now when I play this back, it is just my animation, nice and clean, beginning to end. I'm ready to save it. So now I'm going to click finish. I'm going to click the button that says GIF. And you know what? You should probably name this. So I'm going to call this Mrs. Lieben Volcano. Um, you don't need to change anything here. It's all good. Hit export. And you simply got to just wait a few minutes for this to process. When it's all done, you will have a little button at the bottom here that says download. And then you will have your file that can be submitted to your teacher via canvas or emailed or put into a Google Drive or even inserted into a slide deck. So depending on how um, the final work is being collected, once you download this GIF, you'll be ready to go.